Mark Scaife's credentials on the track are without question in Australian motorsport. Over the past few years, he has also provided input on track designs for New Zealand's Hamilton Street layout, the Armoral Townsville 400 and the Sydney Telstra 500. He was the obvious man to go to for the redesign process of the Surface Paradise Street Circuit for this year's revamped Gold Coast Super Carnival in October. The track was originally an Indy car circuit, so in terms of suiting those cars, we needed to make sure that we make this track and the modification suit V8 supercars. And I think with three or four tweaks, there's a few little things that we can do to get some great passing opportunities and to keep the flow of the cars. Scaife met with Super Carnival General Manager Shane Howard and event engineering boss John Howe this morning to go over the changes to the track, which will see it reduced from 4.47 kilometres to 2.8 kilometres. Importantly, the changes have not come to the detriment of one of the most spectacular street courses in the world. We're now looking at, the, uh, at some of the chicanes with Mark, looking at opening up some of those areas for passing. Uh, of course, the changes have meant that we've got a lot of benefits for the Gold Coast community and less disruption. Uh, we're able to build and dismantle the track a lot quicker, so we're adapting the circuit to the new demands of the Gold Coast. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the racing spectacular on the Gold Coast. It will be promoted by V8 supercar events with major support from the Queensland Government. The Gold Coast Super Carnival is to be held over three days from Friday October 22 to Sunday October 24. It will see each regular V8 supercar team linked with an international driver for the third endurance event of the V8 Supercar Championship Series. This event, um, you know, with the, with the new uh, format and the new style of the event, the shortened track is going to provide great entertainment for the public. With the Super Carnival held at the business end of the championship chase, the atmosphere of Queensland's largest event is sure to be electric. Racing for championship points, the event will see two 300 kilometre races, complete with driver, fuel and tyre stops held over the Saturday and Sunday of the event.